During stakeholder planning, in addition to the stakeholder management plan, two important documents are created. The stakeholder planning documents are the stakeholder register and the issue log. Once you have gathered all the information about your stakeholders and have them classified, it's time to enter your information into a stakeholder register template. This template is a standard form with columns for each category of relevant information. As project manager, you may be required to create a template or you may have a standard template developed by your organization. If you don't have access to a standard template, consider using a previously completed stakeholder register from another project as a guide. The specific stakeholder information categories on a template can vary from project to project, but in general, you'll need to include three basic types of information about each stakeholder. Identifying information tells you who stakeholders are and the basic facts you'll need to know in order to work and communicate with them. This includes name, contact information, position, and role in the project. Most identifying information is gathered during step one of creating the stakeholder register, gathering information from project documents. Assessing information includes stakeholders' key requirements and expectations. This tells you what you need to know to make judgments about how to treat stakeholders to keep them satisfied and engaged with the project. Much of this information is gathered during Step 2, gathering information from organizational process assets and enterprise environmental factors. Classifying information is a rating based on your analysis of the stakeholder's importance or impact. This information is important to help you prioritize key stakeholders, anyone in a decision-making or management role who has the power to influence project outcomes and objectives. This information is determined during Step 3, using stakeholder analysis to classify stakeholders. Here is an example where the names, contact information, positions, and roles have been filled in for the first three stakeholders. The requirements column contains each stakeholder's high-level wants or needs. The expectations column contains notes on how the stakeholder expects the project to function, including the method and type of communication each expects to receive. The last column contains the classifications the project manager has determined for each stakeholder when she used the stakeholder classification matrix. She will use this classification to prioritize her time and attention and to determine an appropriate strategy to keep the stakeholder engaged with the project. You can use any classification method you want. A 1 may signify high power and high interest, and a 3 low power and low interest. One important thing to remember about stakeholder classification is that it will need to be updated regularly. Although stakeholders with low power usually have little influence in the way a project is managed or on its objectives, they can often achieve power by gathering support. They may try to leverage relationships with other stakeholders who do have power, or they may request support from organizations such as special interest groups, unions, professional associations, or government departments. An issue log is used to document and track project issues. Throughout the project lifecycle, you'll need to document potential areas of concern, uncertainties, conflicts, or misalignments that require further action and control. These issues should be entered into the project's issue log. An issue log is a table that has space to record an identifier and description of the issue and its status, priority, owner, possible impact, and action plan. Once resolved, the entry is completed by filling in the date and manner in which the issue was resolved. The issue log allows you to perform several tasks. Track which stakeholders need to be engaged for each issue logged. Assign specific team members and other resources that will be required to resolve the issue. And record action plans designed to control stakeholder influence and control involvement.